Hello everyone, it's Winona the Left-Handed Beater and welcome back. I just remembered I've got Jesse James, I need my staple remover. Welcome if you're new, if you like what you see, please like, subscribe and comment. So my Jesse James box came a little worse for the wear, so let's hope everything's still in there. But what do you do? They go through so many parcels every day, they're sure to eat up a few. Mind you, I remember Kath sent me something and it got eaten up really badly. But we'll see. Let's see what's here. Oh, where's my knife? Oops. I've been busy doing vinyl. Vinyl, vinyl, vinyl. in here okay oh this looks pretty oh this looks nice this is songs of spring march 2023 i love when they put the date on it mind you this probably won't get put back in the box because the box is so damaged but i'll take everything out and then we'll go from there i'm beginning to really like my jesse james boxes i'm not as intimidated by them as i was before but it looks like, yeah, it looks like maybe everything's there. We'll get rid of the box. There we go. So our first thing is a flower garden cloison bead strand. And I think that's this one here, flower garden. This is really different. This is so fitting for Easter, I think. But look at this cage and then it's got that bead in that. Isn't that cool? And oh, this one's beautiful. And there's that. Is that cloisonne or something, or is it just cloison? Anyway, this is this is short, uh, and it's very um, very vibrant. But it's cool. It's cool. Okay, then we've got a stone walkway rose quartz bead strand. Where did that go? This is gorgeous. Gee, I got a little hangnail there, or maybe it's glue. But we've got some faceted rose quartz here and a little rondelle. Look at the leaf. Isn't that cool? This one's neat too. And you've got one, two, three, four nice sized rose quartz. Looks about eight millimeter. And these are faceted rondelles. And then at this end, we've got two of that, I think it's called English Cut. That's cool. I'm going to do something different. My subscriber um, has stayed at the same amount of subscribers for quite a while now. So I thought in one of my videos coming up soon, you won't know which one, I am going to make a draw. For any subscriber that makes a comment during that video, so they'll have to watch the video because they don't know which one it'll be, I am going to draw for a $50 gift card at Beadbox Bargains. So you have to be watching my videos then to see it, and you've also got to be subscribed. So if you're watching my videos right now, I'm going to zoom in just a bit, and you're not subscribed, um, subscribe. And that will give you a chance to enter. And it'll be in an, a fairly quick soon upcoming video. But I won't announce it beforehand. It'll be just all of a sudden in the video I'll say, sometime in the video I'll say, um, if you leave a comment and tell me whatever, and you're a subscriber, um, I'll do a drawing in a few days. And the winner will win a $50 gift card for Beatbox Bargains. So anyway, get that out of the way. Bird, Blue Bird Songs Mini Bead Mix. Bluebird songs. Dolly Parton has the song Fly Ye Away Little Bluebird. I love that song, but I won't try to sing it to you all. <laughs> oh, that might be scary. They've changed their bags, which is kind of cool, but also kind of difficult. Okay, let's pour these out. I love this. 
Oh, I love these. Look at these. There's four of these, and they've got like a... I don't know what kind of finish that is, but it's got purples and blues and a little bit of pink. It's pretty. It's a melon bead. Whoa, 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 whoa. So we've got four of those. I'm sorry if I'm loud. I've got my camera sitting right in front of my face. We've got two of these. Gorgeous. We've got four of these. I love these. Look at these. Aren't they pretty? Wish this had come earlier. I could have combined it for my um, Easter jewelry. It's um, Saturday, right? So tomorrow's Easter. I won't be making any jewelry today. I know that. It's already late, later in the day. Well, no, two o'clock, I guess. So we've got two, four, six, eight of these. Those are cute. And then we've got four of these. This just looks like wire coiled and coiled. And where's a hole? There's a hole there, I think. Oops, sorry. Right there. Those are cute, hey? Those are really cute. We've got four of these bead caps. They're a nice little bead cap. And then we've got two, four, six of those pink. I think they're a rondelle. This blue is pretty. I say I'm always say I'm not a blue person, but I'm really getting it drawn to the different blues. And then we got four cubes. I was just feeling them because they felt like plastic when I picked them up, but I think they're glass. They're cold, so they must be glass. Then we've got these all these little charms. Oh my goodness. I'm thinking cha-cha. I shouldn't yell. I say that every time and I never make one. But I'm thinking that might be. That might make a cute little cha-cha bracelet out of that. So that's the Bluebird Songs mini bead mix. And then we've got the Best Buds Design Element bead mix. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if I'm totally sold on these bags or not. I guess I should be because they're resealable, but I just find them hard to open sometimes. Look at these. These are gorgeous. They look like mother of pearl. Right in there. Isn't that pretty? Those are really pretty. And then we've got two, oh, two coins. Oops. Hmm. Oh, look at these. These, oh, we got a few of them too. Two, four, six of these ceramic tubes. That's awesome. We've got four of these beautiful faceted rondelles. Oopsie. Aren't those beautiful? I think it makes me think of a fairy when I see that. And these are gorgeous. I'm liking this box. Oh, I think we have two of these because I think, yeah, look at them. Look at the color and then the other side is just, uh, that's the foil side, but it's it just is beautiful. Those are pretty. Is it ever windy here today? Oh boy, it's just crazy. I bet you the highways are bad. We're still in the minus um, Celsius weather. We haven't hit any plus. Well, we have hit some plus, but I think come Monday, it's supposed to start being in the double digits. So that'll be nice. We've got these, these are cool. They're flat head, like a petal. And they've got some gold in them. They're cool, I like those. I really like this. We've got four of these green. I did, I, they look cream to me, but they've got a little bit of a green tint to them. 
really pretty. Yeah, I think of a fairy when I see these things, like a garden fairy. Or, and we've got two little um, tassels, which I used to hate getting, but now I kind of like getting them. And then these beautiful flowers. Very delicate, though. And then they're like a button. Ooh. I don't know if I'd want to use them to close a, a bracelet, though. I think I, I'd break them. But So we've got that. Then we've got vine cord and finding set. That must be this one on the vine cord and finding. Ooh, this is different. I need to branch out and learn more about working with leather and, and macrame. I used to do macrame as a kid. So I should be able to figure it out. I just haven't had time to watch videos. Or when I do have time, I fall asleep. So this has already got... So I wonder if you could wrap this around. Oh, it's not finished on the ends. And I don't know where I sent the other end flying in all of this. But yeah, it could be a double-strand bracelet. Hmm. That must be on my mat here somewhere. I just don't see it, but it'll show up. It might have fallen into one of these beads. Oh, here it is. There we go. I kind of like that. These bigger holes. Nope. Nope. Hmm. But you could make charms and hang a whole bunch of charms from there, I bet. Flower Festival seed bead set. Oh, and they have little flowers in there too. And then 11 o seed beads, it looks like. These are pretty. And then we've got a lavender. And then like a rose gold and a pink. That's pretty. Spark your information. Inspiration. <laughs> Inspiration with this mix of designer curated beads and components. This mix features a blend of exclusive elements available only in the Magical Mystery Bead Box. Show us what you've created and interact with your fellow Mystery Bead Box beaders by joining the Magical Mystery Bead Box Facebook group. I never do that. I'm really bad with social media. Really bad. But I was looking over here. This I bought in Minot. Hildy and Joy. I think that's Joanne, isn't it? Yeah. And look at that. I could add that right to that. Okay, we've got that. And then we've got Garden Gate Filigree Pendant Pair. These are different. different. I would think you would want to put something on there and then bezel it on there. I, but I'm not this. This is too nice. But I might take a Rivoli, an old Rivoli, a Rivoli I have, and do a bezel on there. I think that would look really pretty. And then you could make it into a pair of earrings. There you go. Okay, and then we've got white picket fence pendant pair. My staple remover got stuck on my sweater. Oopsie. I don't know about these. White picket fence pendant pair. I just FaceTime with my little granddaughter. I think I'm going to have her next weekend. There's something in here. What do I have? A beading. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get that out of there. There we go. I don't know what that was. These are acrylic. I think made to look like bone. That's pretty cool too. And you could bezel something on there as well or glue something on there. I think I might have some cabochons that I could look at and try to glue on there. Yeah, it's different. 
And then finally, we've got some Olympic chain. And then it says on here, spring is nature's way of saying, let's party by Robin Williams. This is nice chain. They always have nice chain at Jesse James. So, okay. My favorite is gotta be these. I absolutely love those. I really like these too, these ceramic ones. I always like ceramic beads, but actually it's kind of a different box. Like I do like, I do like all the components, but I feel like this bag is a different, I need to do something separate with this bag than I would with the rest of this. And that lends itself more to that right there. But we'll see. We'll see what it brings. I've, I've been on this embroidery kick with my embroidery machine lately, and I haven't been doing a lot of beading but um, I'll get back to it. So remember, in a future video soon, during the video, I will say, if you leave a comment, if you are subscribed and you leave a comment um, on this video, I will make a draw and you can win a $50 gift card at Bargain Be Be Beatbox Bargains. And um, also, you should subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss when that video comes up because I'm not gonna announce it beforehand. It's just gonna be one day I'll be doing something and I'll decide, hey, today's the day I wanna do that draw and I'll, I'll announce it in that video. That way I don't get people just subscribing because they see that there's a prize to be won. This will be just people who, and this will be for, you know, some, I have about five or six people that comment loyally all the time and, and the odds are really good for them that they will win. Um, I know there's maybe one or two that won't want to win anything, and they can say that in their comment. But um, the others, yeah, you know what? It would be a nice way to, for me to thank them for, for being loyal, fo loyal followers and helping me. Because some days I get really down, and, you know, I see those comments, and you'd be, you would be surprised how many times that lifts my spirit up. I try not to be negative. And I try not to feel sorry for myself, but you know, there's days where that happens and you just can't help it. I, it's hard to, you got to get out of that funk and go on with life though. So anyway, <laughs> sorry for getting there with this. Anyway, I wish you lots of love and happiness until we meet again. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.